Hello everyone, my name is Rosita Orquesta and welcome to Pantas Minaya. Today we are going to talk about the two basic uh, conditional statement in computer programming, that is the if-else statement and the uh, switch case statement. We are going to talk about its uh, differences and similarities. So to better or further explain uh, the two, I am going to create a simple example using this Turbo C++ a compiler of C++ programming language. I will not uh, explain the some of the codes or but the only the, the, the core codes in relation to if else statement and switch case statement because this is just a review on how we use these two uh, decision making codes in computer programming. Okay. So first we'll have the if else statement. Okay, see here if I have declare, I will going to declare a variable a to the type of integer and initial value of one, or and then another uh, integer type variable which is p initial value of two, or shall we say three and two. And then I am going to have here an F statement. What happens here is that in this line of code with the if, we're going to test the value of A against B, the value of B. So we are trying to compare if the value of A is much uh, higher than the value of variable B. So if it is true that the value of A is higher than the value of B, then it will display A is greater than B. If it's not, then it will do nothing. It will display nothing in our screen. So let's compile the work. See if there is warning or uh, errors. Since there is none, so let's try to run the program. And here is the output. A is greater than B. It is because, as you can see in the declaration, the value of A is 3 compared to the value of B, which is only 2. So therefore, it is true that the, uh, the value of A is greater than the value of B. But what if, instead of 3, we will have A as 1? So, suppose... When I try to, when I will run this program, it will not display A is greater than B, but display nothing since uh, 1 against 2 is false or A greater than B is false because 1 can never be greater than 2. So let's try to run the program and it will display nothing. Now, how about if, say, it returns false, but we still want to have an alternate uh, display, uh, alternate result saying that uh, the value of A is less than, lesser than the value of B instead. So we'll have an else statement here and then let's have another C out and then in this C out we'll have A is lesser than B. Okay, so when we try to run the program since According to the given value of variable a and b, that a has the value of 1 and b has the value of 2. Therefore, the result would be a is lesser than b instead of a is greater than b. Okay? So, since this condition is uh, false, since a can never be, 
S uh, or I mean A is truly less than B it will execute this C out instead okay it will turn to else let's try to run the program A is lesser than B as you can see so if it's true that A is greater than B it will display this one but if it is false then it will display this one so we have already two implementation of if else statement the first one is only if without the else and then now we have the if with the else and then what if uh, we can have another else here and another condition here seeing a is equal to b let's try to test if the value of a is not less than but not greater than but it is um, equal to the value of b let's have another c out here saying that a is uh, equal to b okay so to test that one instead of one we will have a and b with the value of two let's try to run the program it will display a is equal to b right a is equal to b if we try to raise the value of a 3 against 2 it will display a is greater than b if we return it to 2 it will display a is equal to b and if we lower this to 1 it will display a is lesser than b as you can see so there are three the uh, different implementation of if else statement okay <clears throat> now another implementation of fl statement is the nested fl statement see i will include another val uh, variable here is say a a c is say c is equal to uh, three and then we'll have another if here if e is greater than c Then let's have another else here inside. Okay. So if it's true that uh, A is greater than B and A is also greater than C it will display A as greater than B and C or else is greater than B but lesser than C okay so a nested FL statement is somewhat like a confirmation so this is the first confirmation about the the current value of a and then when we confirm the value of a against the value of b we then conf compare it again with c to confirm the value of a against c so in in real life if we translate that, uh, this implementation in real life it, it's like me i am going to ask you students or for example a friend of mine I will say uh, or someone I will say I will ask uh, is your father uh, or is the name of your father Jose and then when that friend or that someone answers yes the name of my father is Jose then I will have another question as a follow-up or a confirmation that he is really or that that person is really a a sibling i say a son the son of mr jose so i will ask again so that makes your mother or the name of your mother is fi and if that man or that people that person answer me another yes i will say he would say yes my mother is fi then there is another confirmation right 
So the first confirmation is about the father and the second confirmation is about the mother. So that's the time that I will make conclusion that that someone, that person is really uh, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jose. Okay, Mr. Jose and uh, Mrs. Jose. Ah, uh, no, Fi. Okay. So something like that, you know. It is uh, somewhat like a follow-up question. Okay then. <clears throat> so in this example, so we try to confirm if A, if the value of A is greater than the value of B, and then if A is also greater than the value of C. If it is, then we will display this C out here. A is greater than B and C. If it is uh, true that a is greater than B, but it's not true that A is greater than C, then it will display this instead. A is greater than B, but lesser than C. So, in this case, we'll have uh, A has the value of 3. So, clearly, as you can see, 3 is greater than 2, but it's not greater than the value of C, which is also 3. So, therefore, this will display uh, a is greater than B but lesser than C, um, or lesser than lesser than or equal to C. Okay, so since we are having three and three for A and C, so as you can see, A is greater than B but lesser than or equal to C. But if we try to mm. Have this variable C the value of one, then try to run this one. The output should be A is greater than B and C. As you can see, A is greater than B and C because the value of B is two, the value of C is one, and then the value of A is three. But if um, we make it like this one, so A two B Two, so this will return false because a or two is not greater than two, or a is not greater than b. It will fall to the second else if statement, which is a is equal to b. So it will display a is equal to b. Let's try to run the program. So you can see a is equal to b because a has a value of two and b has the value of two. And then, what if we try to lower again the value of a so now it's um, a against b 1 against 2 is false a against b 1 equal to 2 is false so it will fall into the else statement which is a is lesser than b and c okay let's try to run the program as you can see, it display A is lesser than B and C. So again, we have the if statement without the else. Second is we have the if and else statement. And then we have the if, else if, else statement. Then the last one is the nested if else statement. And and then what if we try to, we want to try to uh, not implement the nested if else statement, but still we can uh, test the value of A against C. So to do that, we are going to use um, a, like a logic key operator, the ampersand, the, du the double ampersand, which uh, we can read that as and. And then we can have a greater than c here. So instead of having it in uh, in a nested FL statement, so we'll remove this one. Okay, and then also this one. So it will be then um, a and b is greater than um, b and c if and only if. This statement here, A is greater than B, is true, and this A greater than C is true. If one of these st statements 
this A greater than C or this A greater than B. If one of these statements returns false, it will not display the A is greater than B and C. But instead, it will try to look into this uh, condition if A is equal to B. And then if this uh, condition uh, still returns false, it will drop this C out under the else statement. Let's try to run the program. Uh, com compile it first. See if there's an error. There is none. Try to run the program. And then we have this A is lesser than B and C since uh, A is 1 and B is 2. Now, if we try to return this value into 3 and then comply, compile, see if there's a warning or an error. And since there is none, run the program. And then we, can, we have A is greater than B and C. So the, this time it returns this one. Then again, if we are going to make this value into 2, two it will return A is equal to B. As you can see. So that's how we use the if else statement. Now, jump to the second uh, conditional statements or <coughs> the switch case statement. So a switch case statement is much like a statement. We can say that it is also like an if-else statement, a cousin of if-else statement, only that there are some uh, limitations when you are using the switch case statement. One of these is that the switch case statement only uses um, integer and character. It could not also use fractions. So the if-else the statement can use, for example, double as... Uh, Okay, so let's just utilize these variables here. Uh, 1.2. I know. See this for example. And instead of int, we use double. Double is the, the term or the data type for fractions. 2.1, 1.8, 7.3. And then in FL statement, we can have a if a is equal to 1.2 this will work C out and then let's say hello if it's not equal to 1.2 so let's have an else here and then uh, let's see out instead of hello we'll have hi so compile the program see if warnings and errors no if to run the program, it will display hello. If we change this to 3, run the program, it will display hi. Now, in switch case statement, this will not work. Okay. So the syntax of switch state switch is uh, like this. Say, then it has case 1.2. So for example, and then case 1.3, then default. Okay. So in this, we're going to display the hello. And in here, we are going to display the hi. Okay. The default. We're going to display none of the above. Okay, so this is an example of a switch case statement. Now, I am using a double data type or a, a fraction data type, 1.3. If, if I'm going to compile this project, it will say, one warnings and five errors and when I open the errors it will say switch selection expression must be of integral type when we say integral type it talks about integers whole number and this is not a whole number 1.3 is a fraction so it will not allow us to use fraction not like the uh, if else statement 
also if you notice we don't use greater than uh, greater than or less than we don't use equal or not equal in this uh, case we also not less than or equal and greater than or equal <coughs> we don't use this comparison because it's not allowed to use this in such case statement now that makes the FL statement more flexible than the switch case statement because switch case statement is very specific in in the value as you can see here the variable a is tested against the value of one and the value of two because I, as, as i have said there's only two variable types that is allowed in switch case and that is integer or integral and the other one is character uh, a single character okay so but if we are trying if we are going to uh Compare the switch case into if else. This is the if statement here, and this is the a. Now, as for the less than or greater than, these are the less than or greater. So, for example, this is greater than one, or this is the less than one, two, right? But that is not allowed in switch case. We can only uh, make a direct comparison between the value of A and to the, this specific uh, value. Also, this default here is equivalent to the else statement in if else statement. Right. So, this default keyword is equivalent to else. Does it mean that if the value of a is not equal to the case one case with value one or the value of a is not equal to the case with the value of two it will automatically perform what is inside the default or say the else in if else statement so if i am going to run this program let's see it should display since i have the variable a of a value one and then let's set this into n to open an error so we have integer type variable a with value one suppose it will display hello when i try to run this program it will display hello i none of the above what happened why did it display all of the three it is because we don't apply this break uh, keyword this break keyword if we are going to convert this into a statement this is equivalent to the close curly brace. As you can if you remember uh, a while ago, if we try to write if we have this open and close uh, curly brace. Now this break here, break keyword are equivalent to that curly brace in if else statement. Okay. So the purpose of this is that when when the switch found a an equivalent value of this variable a so for example one it will display this c out and then break the execution of the code that means it will not uh, read the remaining cases and as well as the default so it will stop just right here it will only dis display the word hello okay let's try to run the program as you can see it only displayed the word hello so the how uh, if else and switch case alike they compare values how they differ switch case can only have integer or character while the if else statement can have almost if not all the data types also if else statement is much more flexible because because it can use less than greater than less than or equal greater than or equal equal not equal uh, any bitwise separator or those logic gates 
while switch case could not use those uh, gates this and and or and also uh, what is best what is the best thing when we are using the when we are to use the switch case uh, the comparison is faster compared to FL statement because if we are using the FL statement it could be it could have a complex comparison just like the, the example given where I tried to use the AND here so for example if uh, say A greater than B and A greater than C and then I have another AND here this can be complex you see is distance uh, C and then and a less than uh, ano, a and d All right it's like that oops all right so if a statement can have a complex uh, comparison or condition okay but switch case is a direct condition a direct comparison between the value of the variable that is being switched and then the, the value that is stated in the case here so if you have minimal um, requirements in the program you might use the switch case but if you have a complex um, complex requirements in programming you might as well uh, include the if else statement and then just like the FL statement also this switch case can have a nested switch case see we have we will have another val a variable here B then to uh, say B and then switch that B with a case of 2 and then a case of 3 and then another default okay Okay, so let's have another C out here. Let's say two, and then another C out here, which says three, and then the default. Let's have a default C out and says A. So this will try to switch A first, value of A will be switched to 1, then since it is true that the value of A is equal to 1, it will be having this another switch inside, and then this switch will try to switch or confirm the value of B if it is equivalent to 2 or equivalent to 3. Or none of the above. If it is 2, it will I'll return 2. If it is 3, it will return 3. If it is not 2, 3, it will uh, return A. So let's try to run the program. It says 2, hello. Okay. So it returns 2 because B is 2, it returns this hello because the value of one and the value of a is one uh, let's do that again so we have two hello this is how we use fl statement and switch case statement that's all for today i hope you learned something and thank you